We have tens of thousands of miles of pipelines in North America. If you actually look back and look at the map, it looks like the, you know, the, the veins in your, in, in, in your body. There are lines going hither and yon, um, and those run, for the most part, quite su very successfully. It is, is it perfect? Nothing humans ever touch are perfect. Um, we have uh, oil and gas spills through these pipelines, and way more if you use trains, and way more, again, if you use, if you use cars and, or use trucks. So pipelines are by far and away the most environmentally sensitive and, and, and safe process. The environmental challenge that really is attracting everybody's attention is from the point at which the pipeline reached tide, tidewater. You get the material onto the ship and then you get it out, whether it goes out through Prince Rupert or out through the, out through the Vancouver Harbor. Um, that's where the real concerns rest. And you know, if you look at people who are active in the field, they'll say, there's a lot of ships going out of Vancouver Harbor and we don't we don't even think about it on a daily basis except that they make nice pictures um, because they, the harbor is full and you have all these wonderful ships going forward. Many of those ships have very caustic materials on board. Um, if a ship full of sulfur actually went down, it would cause all sorts of problems. But we haven't had that conversation. We have a conversation about bitumen. Why about bitumen? Well, bitumen is a, is a heavy product. Um, it is very, it's, it's hard to see how, how you can collect it. So liquefied natural gas actually is, a, if they had a ship go down with liquefied natural gas, you can actually, most of it evaporates. Um, if you have bitumen, it becomes this big thug-like stuff that sticks to the bottom of the ocean and causes long-term problems. So what people want on one side is guarantees of perfection. You'll never, ever have a problem. Well, that's not going to happen. But if you look at the track record, the track record has been very good. Canadian shipping is actually very, uh, very high standards. So we're fortunate in that we have a very good navigation industry and shipping industry in, in North America and in most of the world. Uh, we're fortunate that we have some of the very best pipelines. We're fortunate that we have the most, some of the most stringent environmental standards and expectations. We're fortunate in that the federal government recently announced a $1.5 billion commitment to marine safety that it actually provides a new foundation for our comfort level with maritime shipping. So we've got a whole bunch of the pieces in place. Some folks will just be unalterably opposed to what's going on. Others will see it more favorably.